Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum. Hello, teachers! I thought of some really, really, really inexpensive rewards and props. I mean, like, they're almost free. Do you want to know what they are? Okay, let's do it. So, over the year that I've been teaching with the VIP Kid, I have gathered many, many, many magnet sheets from the Dollar Tree. You might find them, they look like this, okay? These ones are coming back out again. There's Christmas and there's birthday and there is holiday themed, okay? This one I got in St. Patrick's Day and you just pop out the magnets. Bum, 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 you pop them out. You can use the magnets just like this, okay? This is reward number one. One dollar for reward system. Now, I have gathered a massive amount of these. And you might be thinking, well, what do you do with this? This is magnet. You do not have to go out to the store and buy magnets to stick on the back of your props. Use this. I mean, seriously, you cut out the piece you want, bing! You stick it on the back of what you want with double stick tape, okay? They also sell a double stick tape at Dollar Tree. Or you can get some fancy kind. I've had this for a year and I've barely used it, okay? It's an investment, like a dollar, whatever, okay? So, here is a reward system I you made by using double stick tape, these magnet sheets, and stickers. Dollar Tree stickers. Ta-da! It's my version of Find the Star, okay? So, this is a, a cookie sheet. You can get this at Dollar Tree for a dollar or at Walmart for 88 cents. You go wherever you're closest to going, okay? On the back, I have, let's see if I move them. Just put random magnets. It's not pretty. It doesn't have to be pretty. You just put one little thing of double stick tape on it and you put it on there, okay? Now on the back of some of them, I put a little star sticker. So they have to say, top or bottom, what color, blue, blue top, blue bottom. Well, the blue top has a star, the blue bottom does not, okay? You can make it however you want to, but look at this. One dollar for the cookie sheet, one dollar for the stickers, one dollar for the magnets that I can use the extra sheet with, and one dollar for the double stick tape. What is that? Four dollars? Four dollars. The thing about this is the stickers is one dollar. That was one reward. The rest you can reuse over and over. You can use the cookie sheet again. You can use the double stick tape again. You can use this multiple times, a multiple rewards. Just go crazy with it. Think about what else you can stick magnets on, okay? They're not exceptionally strong, so keep it very lightweight, whatever you put on the back of it, okay? Um, but you can put props on the back. Like I went out and I made a bunch of these. I just put random magnets on the back. Here's my table. Look at that. <clears throat> it's from those cutouts. <clears throat> Sorry, I've been teaching all morning. <laughs> I just taught seven classes. So that is one way you can make cheap, <laughs> almost free rewards. Look in your stash, see what you find. Now, here are some props that you probably have lying around in the house and you didn't even realize it. I put them in here so I don't have to worry about how to, you know, sort them. But I have, da da da, food. I went to my local grocery store and I found their ads. And I spent one night and I just cut out all the ads. I did put them on cards, but I don't like the cards. I think I'm just gonna stick with just, you know, as is. They look great. Go, do you like apples? They're free, they're, they're the ads. I mean, seriously, how easy is that? Every week I go to the grocery store and I see their ads out by the front door, I grab one. I grab an ad and I come home and I cut them out. I find anything that I might want. You get junk mail. 
open up the pizza things and now you've got pizza you got hamburgers you've got mcdonald's you got burger king you've got you know whatever you want so that's free sometimes they have holiday ads i went and got the christmas holiday ads inside i've cut apart already Yeek. and i found somebody like riding a car or here's a doll you can go to the toy unit and think about okay what what kind of pictures are in the toy unit and one is uh you build things and and um you see what did i cut out i cut out you ride your bikes i cut out i drive my car i cut out i build with my blocks okay <laughs> these are free <laughs> you can put them on three by five cards you can laminate them you can do whatever you want I'm thinking of just leaving it just like this because I have them in here and I take really good care of them and I don't let my children, well, my daughter, get to them. So, they're safe. And as long as I keep them organized, I'll be fine. Um, warning about lamination is that sometimes it can cause a glare and it's hard to see, especially on something shiny like this. So, use it or don't use it, doesn't matter. Um, I also found some furniture in some ads. So I've got lots of chairs and sofas. Free. F-R-E-E, -E, free. You don't need to spend a lot of money if you are creative and you think inexpensive, okay? One more and then I'll sign off, okay? What else do you have lying around your house or your classroom? <laughs> If you're really into things and props, you probably have a whole collection of toys. <laughs> I got this lunchbox at a local meetup. And it's a lunchbox, and I can use it as a lunchbox. But I thought I'll use it as my mystery magic box. In here, I have a bunch of toys from McDonald's, from thrift stores, from wherever. Okay, I have found five stars of various kinds. Okay, five stars. And here's my favorite star right here. This was McDonald's fine, and I think it's this, so, so awesome. But it's got eyes. Okay, so every time they do a good job, they get one thing. Bum -ba -dum -bum 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 -ba -dum bum 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 bum. Look at that quick reset. Oh, you get an apple. So they get something random, and then they get a star. Then they get something random. Like, hello kitty! And then later on, they get a star. This is great for trial classes who don't speak a whole lot of English and they can kind of um, anticipate they get one toy and one star. One toy, one star. You probably have a collection of things. And if you don't have stars, that's okay. You can go one thing, one thing equals a star. So t every two things equals a star. That's fine. Um, that would be fun to do too. Okay, some of you might be asking yourself, thinking to yourself, how did she get her cookie sheet to stand up on her thing? <laughs> I worked at this for a long, long time and I finally, finally found what I think is the best solution. Okay, I used to have it just kind of leaning against it and it would kind of fall off and whatever. This has magnets on the back. Do you want to see behind the curtain? Yeah, let's go see behind the curtain. Pay no attention to the box behind the curtain. I know, I crack myself up sometimes. So in here I have doo -doo 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 -doo, a magazine box. I've stuffed it so it stays full. And I found these magnets at Walmart. They're sticky back magnets, 10 for $3 or something like that. Okay, so I put this on the back of this, and this goes on top of here. Ah, and then I can put the cookie sheet right there, and it stays. It stays upright. There's no leaning, because when it leans, it's hard to see. Look at that glare. Ew, glare. Ew, yuck, yuck, yuck. You can't see that, at least in my classroom. 
Some people clean it and it looks fine. I have mine up, upright. <clears throat> These are plastic shoe boxes. Um, let me show you these real quick. I was going to find an extra one, but I don't feel like pausing. Huh. These are these plastic shoe boxes. Do 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 do. See, plastic shoe boxes. On one of them, I put some mag magnets on the lid. That way, I can also stick <clears throat> my cookie sheet here and a small thing of metal right here if I want to have an extra sheet. Okay, these small things of metal I found at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot for a dollar. Okay, they're just like metal plating. They are smaller than a cookie sheet, but you can cut them. Uh, it might ruin your scissors, so it might be better to get some yucky scissors or some special metal cutting scissors. Then you cut them wherever you want to cut them, and you can make it whatever size you want. Um, so this is what I cut off of this one. I measured how much I wanted and I cut it off because I was looking for something to go down here but it was too small for a whole cookie sheet. It didn't quite work so well. It would hide <laughs> the cookie sheet behind it. So I didn't want that. So I discovered, see, it hides like half the cookie sheet and it just like <sighs> doesn't work. <laughs> so I invested a dollar or two and I found these metal sheets. They were over in, I don't know what section they were, just ask. <laughs> but look for these little, little sheets. Okay. Uh, so what did I spend so far in my classroom? I spent one dollar each for the sheets, one dollar each for the cookie sheets. I had this magazine file, but you can get some at the thrift store. One or two dollars for the magnets. One dollar each for the shoe boxes, which I use everywhere in my house, so I had extra. Sticky back tape. Whole bunch of magnets I've accumulated. <laughs> Look, I got magnets for years. Years! But all you need is one sheet, and you've got plenty to go for a while. And stickers and papers and think, think inexpensive. Okay, you don't have to go all out. You can color your own pictures, put some magnets on the back of it, and call it done. <laughs> okay, sorry for rambling. Good job. I'll see you later.